below wizards and witches. For start, I really hope these are the things that will be in the game and how they are gonna play the role. But for now, this is all speculation, so anything can happen, anything can change, so take everything with grain of salt, but let's go! When we are arriving in Hogwarts, we are able to choose from four different houses. When the Sorting Hat has placed on our heads, we will see four different options for each house, and the houses, of course, they will be the following. You must be sorted into your houses. I shall place the Sorting Hat on your head. They are Gryffindor. Gryffindor! <laughs> Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff! Ravenclaw. And Slytherin. Slytherin! Depending on the house that you are choosing, that might actually affect your gameplay, story-wise, and also spell, aka ability-wise, what you can learn, what you cannot learn. So, for examples, Gryffindors are usually the brave ones, so warrior types, balanced ones, so pretty much everything in one basket, if you will. In the other hand, we are having the Hufflepuffs, that are usually loyal ones, and I really think for the Hufflepuffs, taming beasts, and perhaps even taming some beasts, that other houses cannot actually tame. That might be a possibility for the Hufflepuffs, and that would put them in the hunter slash mage category. For the Ravenclaw, we actually don't know that much, they are usually the smart ones, so learning spells, learning potions might be easier, stronger spells. So in the other words, like Paladin type, that is basically a DPS maker. That is a possibility, in my opinion. And what comes to the Slytherins, the cunning ones? Well, I really think it might be actually easier, and it actually might take a little bit less time to learn the unforgivable curses. And that will put Slytherins into like Warlock or Necromancer category of RPG. That being said, let me know in the comments down below what house you are gonna choose when you are arriving into the Great Hall under the Sorting Hat when we can actually play Hogwarts Legacy. So, what path you are taking for your legacy? Personally, I am torn apart between Gryffindor and Slytherin. When the game comes out, I am gonna live stream this one. And yeah, you have actually a chance to convince me to go either way, either Slytherin or Gryffindor, or Gryffindor or Slytherin. So I will let you guys decide in my live stream which path I'm gonna take. But anyway, I'm probably gonna play this in a couple different houses anyways, because I want to explore everything, like the actual houses. And I'm just keen to see what actual differences it will make. So, if you're gonna choose anything else, please let me know when the game comes out, what are the differences and what is best about your house. If you want to tell me that and maybe other facts, fun facts, anything about the wizarding world, please do so in the comment section down below, right now. Also, I really want to thank my channel members aka the Elite Wolfpack, you guys are awesome. And if you want, there is a join button below this video. Depending on the level, you can get custom emojis at your use in the live streams, in the comment section, or even early access for some of my videos. For now, let's keep the conversation alive in the comment section and let's roll the outro. If you want to be, as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Wolfpack, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and out and bye bye.